what would be the best strategy to get the brand awareness as wide as possible with the engagement as high as possible? Given in mind that I'm not actually asking anybody to buy anything, subscribe to a newsletter or anything like that. I just want to give value right now. Okay, yeah. So like if if your main objective right now is to get engagement, you want people interacting with you, having conversations with you, then you need to run an ad that's going to make them have a conversation. So for like example, there's this ad I'm running at the agency. Um, it's this band, four guys, they had did a, a cover, this new edition cover, classic song, Can You Stand the Rain? Um, there is no nothing for them to click on when they see that ad. There's no sign up, listen now, but we're targeting people who are interested in new editions. So we're putting this familiar song in front of them mm -hmm. and engagement wise, it's going crazy. They're getting a ton of comments. People are following them. People are DMing them while wow, your cover was so amazing. Um, and by that, they're naturally going to their Instagram page and listening to their original music. They're clicking on the link in their bio, they're listening. So that is like a great example of a great en engagement campaign. So what they're doing is they're putting a familiar song with their own twist in front of the right audience. So for you, you know, maybe you can perform some rock song or something that these people recognize and put it in target that audience. That's going to cause a lot, a lot of conversation. They recognize the song. Um, now, if your objective is streams, then you would want to go the route where you were getting a higher click through rate, higher click through percent. Um, so yeah, it really comes down to what you prefer. Are you trying to get people to the streams or are you only trying to grow, grow your Instagram page? There's actually, that's a very good point. And it's a, it's a really good example because the single that's coming out uh, in middle October is a cover of a very well-known song and it's a really good cover whereas who's the original that? too hmm? can i ask who the artist is oh yeah uh it was uh, it's desperado from the eagles okay so i'm covering that and um it, it, it's a really tender song it's it's a it's a it's got it is a rock song, and I've uh, the adaptation that I've done with it is with with you know sort of a ballad type as it was, just had it, adapted it a little bit. When they go back and see the original the original music that I've released earlier, well, those are really high amped hard rock songs. They're not quite metal, but they're they're, they're, they're really high amped. It falls within the genre, but it is very very much all right. Let's strip everything down and then start building back up again. And I'm wondering whether or not my doing that, and I'm, I'm, I'm committed to it at this point in time, because it's already on a release date, it's already uploaded and distributed. So I can't really go back on it. But if that is going to do good or damage to me to have done it in this particular way, and if it's going to do damage, how can I try and salvage it? Um, by spinning it the right way. I don't, I don't think it'll do damage. Like if you have a song that sounds a little bit different than the rest of your catalog, you know, if they like that song, they go check out your other music. What's the worst that happened can happen. And they're like, all right, this is not for me. They, but yeah, I, like Levi said, you might be overthinking it, but for example, I think he's right. I do that a lot. Yeah. You're, you're probably overthinking it. And like, for example, we're doing this campaign for this hip hop artist, been running ads, been struggling to find the pocket that's working. One of my coworkers said, Hey, target the lo-fi community. Cause this song of his happens to be way slower than the rest. So I said, screw it. I'm going to target the lo-fi community. Sure enough. That's what clicked. That's the people who wanted to listen. So we scaled the, the ad up in the lo-fi community and he got a whole lo-fi fan base um, and they became a fan of him. So there might be cases where you have a song that sounds different than your catalog and you might have to target a little bit differently for that specific song, but I don't think it's an issue.
Bow. What's up, it's Brand Man Sean, and if you got value from this video, we got a ton of value to offer you in brandmannetwork.com. It's completely free. The link is in the description if you want to talk with us directly or some of the people in our community in between videos so you can ask questions specific to you or hop on one of the live sessions that you see on the channel when we're speaking with other artists. Brandmannetwork.com is the place to go. Hop into our app. It's really dope, and you get access to free courses as well but it might not be free forever. So hurry up and get in there before I change my mind.